Alrighty. So looking at this here, uh, I checked your email. And I see what you have here. There's definitely some stuff uh, in your settings in terms of clipping plane, far and near, so that you don't have that kind of clipping and strobing there. We have this. You got that. That's really cute. I like the animation there. I like how you go off with that leg first, the drag on the hair. I think given the height and the zippiness, you might be able to go even lower where it, it's not just a stretch and then kind of a bounce through there, but maybe even curve your body even more and have the head lower and imagine arms out like that and into that maybe. And then I would do something where if it's that strong, boom, that it's not just here, but you go up and then maybe one foot goes up and then when it comes back down, just a bit of a different stance so that your feet don't feel so IK, boom, locked while everything else is bouncing. This one is tricky, watch out, just because we're turning around. I know you have it in terms of like video game mode, but um, there are a couple of things. A, I would also add maybe some more rocks throughout so that when we have movement, it's not too bad. I mean, we, we get to see one, but sometimes it helps when you have something like this where foreground elements, bigger rocks, so we understand really exactly when the camera is moving. Because once you're in here, we don't really know if it's you know, any sliding or not, because then that's also in the air. But let me go back, just kind of throw that out there, because it was because of this, because of the constant sliding. So I'm not quite sure what you want to do. You're just talking about camera in your email, that the camera's killing you, and it's looking at the animation. I'm not quite sure what the context is of this. You're just saying, I don't, I'm not quite sure if this is like what this is for and what your focus is. Like, is this supposed to slide? Do you want it to be sliding? Do you want it to be video game where sometimes the contact is not super clear? They just move, but there's sliding going on. Or do you want this to be actual taking steps that are locked? I'm not quite sure. The tricky thing about something like this is when you have no legs in there, you gotta be careful when you have overlapping shapes like these where I would try to time it so that they don't overlap because then it gets kind of it's kind of weird to identify what's going on also the shape is fairly similar there's more white than yellow here and I should probably change color a little here um, but sometimes it gets kind of tricky to know what is front and back just quick there's little moments here where I feel like it could be cleaner in its silhouette so we understand what is going on and also, it gets very busy with this background. So I'll probably put in either hardware fog or something, or something where it kind of minimizes, gives some haze, uh, so that this character really pops. Also, careful, you're overlapping with your UI elements there. So it's kind of cleaning this up a bit. Also, looking at this here, you have a lot of room here. So you can imagine that what if he's actually this low throughout, and it gives us, you know, he, does, he wouldn't really hit this section there. But then it gets very video gamey where it's kind of cycly. That feels a bit kind of harsh drop. I don't know, it kind of depends what you want to do. I'm not quite sure. Like to me with this, with such a height thing, it would almost be jumping a bit further. And again, we're kind of missing what's going on because we have that overlap there. So either have him also go maybe further this way, delay the camera so that this happens here. But again, it gets very busy. Like you almost get, it's hard to see what is going on with all that stuff there. So I think simplifying, or you can also just take all of this out. I know it's there. It's just kind of tricky when it's that busy. That all works. So there's some moments where, again, for silhouette, you might have to adjust the run. It's interesting that you're doing this so we can see the arm. That's kind of clever. But is that only when it disappears? I think it is, right? It's like your beginning fades. Of this appearance. Okay, so it's not like a uh, it's a thing when it runs. Well, it gets kind of cleaner here. This gets a bit too straight on. I'll bring out the feet maybe this way, just pose wise. Oh, it's cute. It ends. Maybe have a little bit more of a stronger bounce since it goes up and down. But it's also slightly off because you're doing this, that, and then it ends like this where it's 
and he's this high, this would be really stretched out and then really far out there where I would bring the feet just a bit closer into regular stand. And that's cute. I like the end too. Ding. And maybe this could be something where you might have a slight anticipation down, then into up, into that. And that's cute though. It's cute at the end. So you also sent me the Maya scenes because of the camera. The thing is, I don't know what you're trying to do. You're saying you attach the camera to the path, but it comes slightly different than it used than it's supposed to be. Like this seems like, like there's not much going on in terms of what the camera does. Like to me, I would just kind of translate it over. I'm not quite sure why this would be on a path. I don't know. I feel like to help you with this, I'm going to need more information. I'm going to write you in the email. But for now, this is what I have in terms of just animation thoughts. But again, you can let me know exactly what you're planning to do, like what, what this is for, um, how far you want to change things in the background, maybe a blur or haze or whatever it is. Um, just a little bit more information will be great. All right, thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.